Welcome back, my friends, to BJJ Brick Quick, the podcast where we quickly talk about a jiu-jitsu topic. Today's topic is why I love the arm in guillotine. My name is Byron. Here we go. Back in the day, and this may have been more of a local problem, but I, I believe it was pretty much a jujitsu thing, is the arm in guillotine was not a an effective technique to apply. I would watch people attempt it in the UFC, and the commentators would often say, that he's got an arm in there. It's not going to work. If they were right, it didn't work. And uh, if if somebody would attempt to guillotine, if you're able to get your arm in there, you'd be fine. Somewhere along the way, some changes maybe have been made, or maybe just um, the word got out about how to do these a little bit better. The the problem with the arm in guillotine is you can't just pull. Like the, the guillotine, you basically, like if you take a picture from the guard, you're pushing their body away with your legs and you're pulling their neck and head up with your arms. And it just basically feels like you're trying to kind of pull their head away from their body, you know, with your arm folded over their neck. <laughs> Man, that sounds brutal. Uh, the arm in guillotine, if you try that same movement, it doesn't work because your energy gets dumped into their armpit instead of their neck. So the arm and guillotine is more of a, it's kind of a crunch, a twist um, to get the choke to be applied. And maybe I enjoyed learning that and learning that it was possible. That, that's been a while since I've known that. I, I like Josh Hinger's uh, guillotine. Uh, Oddly enough, called the Hinger Teen, <laughs> um, and I and I got an instructional from him, and I really identified with it as far as it being a good technique for me. One of the things I like about it a lot, and I have a high finish rate on it, so I think that's that's a big thing. Uh, you're often going to have your favorite techniques are going to be techniques you're good at, you know, relatively speaking. I'm not going to go, you know, on a big stage and, and nail everybody with the arm and guillotine. But when I'm competing or, or rolling hard against, you know, an equal opponent or training partner, uh, it's definitely going to be one of my my good opportunities that I'm going to try to give myself a chance at. So I think being good at something, you know, relatively speaking, is definitely a factor in how much you enjoy it. Another thing that I like about the arm and guillotine is it often will get me a positional change. So I hit these arm and guillotines from any dominant or equal position. Um, so I, I don't do them from bottom side control, and I don't do them from, from someone's got mount or, or back. But other than that, I try to keep that in mind that they might be close. And there are things you can find within a scramble oftentimes. If I'm trying to pass your guard, and a lot of times I'll pass and kind of get to a kind of a side control that, or sorry, a uh, half guard that may not be fully established. They like to underhook that side. That's my arm inside. So if you're underhooking with your right arm, I'm going to trap that up and I'm going to grab your, your chin with my other hand. And there's my arm in guillotine. I, I definitely can finish these, but I've, oftentimes if I don't finish it, I get the guard pass. And if I'm on the bottom, so I'm working for my guard and I attempt to arm in guillotine, often I'll finish right from my guard. No problem. But if not, I usually will get a sweep out of the deal. And oftentimes I get the sweep, and I still have the army guillotine from out. That's really nice as well. <laughs> so it's just uh, some of the things. It's one of my favorite submissions. I One of the, one of the big drawbacks is it can be kind of uh, uncomfortable for my training partners. And so if I don't feel like I have it in very well, like I'm more just cranky and making life miserable, I'll, I'll transition to something else. Uh, I don't expect them to ride out a crappy arm and guillotine for three minutes straight. That's not a fun way to train. But uh, I do enjoy doing arm and guillotine, and I try to do them cleanly. 
so it doesn't cause a bunch of discomfort to my training partners. Uh, I like to know: Do you guys like the arm and guillotine? Uh, what is your favorite technique? And is it your favorite technique? Is because one it's your better one of your better techniques. That might be the main reason why we enjoy some some techniques so much is because they're they're high on our efficiency list. If you have a topic for me to cover, send it to bjjbrick at gmail dot com. I'll add it to the queue. As always, do your favorite techniques, but don't overdo them. And stay sweaty, my friends. <laughs>